We are giving you a report card right now. Two weeks into protests across North Texas. DISD, you get an F. And some parents and community members are now calling out Dallas ISD. We call for an end to the systemic, racialized, inequitable uh, distribution of resources. This group blasting the school district's administrators and trustees during a rally outside Dallas ISD headquarters on Thursday. Put educated teachers in our classroom. Understand that children are children and not men. They're demanding changes. We are standing for fairness and equality. Changes into what the group's calling failures across predominantly black and Hispanic schools in certain areas. We want our children on the south side to get treated the same way the children on the north side get treated. It's your knee off his neck. The alleged inequities are personal for some of these parents. I've been pinned down to the ground by Dallas ISD. They use a lawsuit instead of a knee. Angela Bolton-Smith says Dallas ISD is suing her family after allegedly refusing to allow her seven-year-old son to be evaluated for special education services without her consent. Bolton-Smith, who's also an educator, claims the district's lawsuit is driving her to the point of bankruptcy and depression. I had a thought. Maybe if my children and I could just remove ourselves from this earth. Dallas ISD will not comment on pending litigation. However, staff points out the district does have a racial equity office. Its team has been looking into redlining and other disparities in economically vulnerable areas across the city. And these parents and community members say they will continue voicing their concerns and demands to Dallas ISD leadership over the coming days and weeks. In Dallas, I'm Damon Fernandez.